<laughs> for, for, for portfolio. A flashlight or something. I think it's some shit. Where I put it the first time. First set of holes you see, like uh -huh. set of holes behind it. On this side, you see how close it is to the bracket of the power steering? Yeah. It's not, it's close now, but not touching. So there, that's where I was able to cheat it, you know, left to right, front to back. Is that okay or no? I mean, obviously this gotta still be shorter. I still have to cut this shorter, you said, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Well, tell me how much so I could cut that and I could keep seeing how much space I have. Cause... We can't cut these brackets a little bit and put that bolt a little bit further here. We, we, I mean, you can, but what are you trying to do is my point. Yeah, cause... Uh, basically, um, we're going to build underneath here, we're going to build a wall mm -hmm. that is going to come. Right, but that's the, right. It's going to come straight from here. Right, but it's not right from there because that needs to be no. cut still. So it's actually right. closer, further forward. Okay. You see that black line all the way across that wood? All right. right there, when you line it up, yeah. where, how basically, much do you want to leave? Basically, what I want to do, Boris, yeah. is come make the, the, the floor of the intercooler yeah. from here to the edge right. of the... That wood. Of, no, of the... The top edge of that. Right here. Right, the, the, edge, the front edge this of that. This will be the, the, the that floor. That will be the floor. So okay. If, so if we could come in a little bit, an inch further back, it right. would be great. Okay. And then... This will be right, from here, uh -huh. the, the, the top out like that, growing ever larger, ever you know, from here like this, and from here. Right, but what I'm trying like to ask you is, this. how much do I need to cut that wood down? Because right now you're playing with something that's not real. Um, that piece of wood that you're holding in your hand, that's not going to be that long. Right, so right, how long is it going to be? So right I can cut it right here, now. Like about an inch behind the, Here's uh, a the fan. Like Don't you right have there. to put a splitter there so half the air goes no, to the intercooler no, 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 and no, half to no, the... No. You know, what's what's going to end up happening is that there's going to be an inlet <clears throat> over here. A whole here, mark, width. Mark where you want me to cut that thing across. About, a, about an inch behind the fan. Right there. All right. Okay. So what I want to do is once this is cut, this will, this will bring in fresh air to the intercooler and to this thing. Because whatever air comes in through here, there's going to be a wall here. And this is going to come straight up like that. So this air is going to enter and go around in circles here. And the two fans are going to be right there. But I'm just saying, if, you, if you're taking the, the top of this to the wood, right? Right. So, so how... Where's the uh, where's the air coming in for this? In between. In between. Rich. In between here. But is there gonna is. be is there gonna be something covering the, no, the no, condenser, no, no, no. or you're, it's gonna share the air coming it's in? It's gonna share the air that's gonna come in through this duct, gotcha. which, which is gonna be okay. massive. That's, that's yeah, gonna that's gonna fine because like you got like you that. got the air pu pushing exactly. down anyway. Whatever, whatever comes in, it's gonna come in, fill up this cavity, and it cannot escape because it's gonna have the floor of the inner cooler covering it up. Boom, boom. So this air is going to come in through here and simply get caught right in this area. Okay, but then... Now you confuse me again, because what I'm seeing then is air coming off the radiator going to the inner Yeah, because this wood is too long, it's hard, to, it's hard to visualize you guys thing in the way. You gotta see it goes from the bottom of this to the top of there, and the bottom of this to the edge of the AC. You gotta see it like this, okay? This is going to be the whole length right. of, the, of this box. Okay. This layer is going to end up in this piece of wood okay okay like this and the bottom this one here is going to come straight over to the edge of the condenser this is going to go further out to the edge of the condenser which is the floor of the duct and from here it's going to come up like this just in the same exact shape like that and like that 
to the top of the inner core. Basically like this. Like out here, like that. Boop. The, this whole way. So then the bottom of this duct is actually the roof of the condenser. Of the condenser. So it's getting its own air underneath. Correct. Separate. And that air is going to, it's coming in through the, through the duct that's feeding the air filter. Right. And the rest of it is going to go right in there and just get caught in there. Okay. Just it like it does sense now. On a street car. Now, as long as I, you, when you have that in there, if it's, if it's got a, a, a seal at the bottom, over the top of the condenser, it makes exactly. sense. Exactly. Yeah. This right here. Right. That's what you got the poster board to mock it up with, right? All right. This is yours? Yeah. And now, as you can see, that this top of the intercooler now becomes the discharge right. the radiator. Yeah, exactly. It just goes perfect. Right through the vented hood. Yeah. Well over engineered. <laughs> BMW will, will be jealous of this. <laughs> wow. So this takes some logic to take. A little aviation uh, technologies. If it's good enough to be up in the air, it's certainly going to be good enough to be going 60 miles an hour. Or 200. <laughs> if I wanted to go 60 miles an hour, I'd have left this car the way it is. <laughs> yeah, true, but I mean, you know, it's just all about efficiency. Yeah. You know? Um, even at 30 miles an hour, there's going to be so much air going in there under pressure. This is still going to be your template, correct? Yeah. Okay. The reason why I'm asking is because I, when I was dicking around coming up with this design, mm -hmm. I noticed that this corner, this one fits good. I don't know why this corner needs to be kind of rounded. It's a, it's a theoretical law which it, it can be overcome. I've tried it. It, it's, it, it won't happen. 50, 50 is a reach. 40 is like, that's it. If you have it 40, like, like your car AC. Your car AC, I put a thermometer in the AC vent outlet and it says 50, 52. Maybe you get it down to 45. Yeah, but what's the inlet? 95 or 100. Lucky to get a 50 degree drop out of air conditioning. Yeah. That's it. There's no 60 or 70. That's not happening. Yeah. I read. I read the same degrees, thing. If it's hundred, the intercooler degrees can't go more than 40, 50 on, degrees. And your car's max. brand new from the dealer. Guess what? It's not gonna go past 75, 60. You know, when the temperature comes back down under 100, you'll be allowed back into the 40s and 50s again. But the refrigerant cannot do that secondary uh, heat change. It won't do it. At least not print or you know whatever inert gas that they use now. Well, I thought the more heat you took out of the condenser, the better it should cool. The, the better it should cool. Yeah, that's well, what I thought. It, it, well, that it, makes well, sense. It makes sense. I haven't found that to be the. But there's case. a limit, right? Everything has a threshold, of course. You know, I'm not saying that a burning hot thing makes your AC work better. No, what I mean is like, unless you get the peak heat range going in effect, you don't have maximum cool coming out of the vent. And that's hard to get that. So then if Ford air conditioners work that great, because that's all I ever hear they people must. say, I want to look at the size of their condenser. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they put it. They got the relationship correct, that's all I can tell you. For some of these things, they try to fit stuff within the amount of space that was allotted for the car. I hope the refrigeration engineer took that into account. You know? Because everything works fine here, but given the, the amount of air volume, the location in the world where that vehicle goes through, that may make or break that car, especially like these. They come designed to work as a baby furnace. Yeah, but you know what? Okay. You send it to Florida, and you, you, you're gonna be like, familiar like with the mechanic. Or my dude, you know, the, the, the AC condensers in front that of the front. cooler with no the fan. The cooler is in front of the radiator. Mm -hmm. so the air, the water is going to the, the air is going to the radiator is cooked. Yeah. So, I mean, granted yeah. that diesels do run cold, but 
if that's that's getting the impact air, that's getting the maximum airflow in front. Yeah. But if you're talking about running it hotter, why don't you put where would you put that behind the intercooler? Maybe it get too hot. Yeah. I mean, it, there's got to be a reason. There's got to be a reason. Yeah. I don't know shit about AC except hit cold and hit fan. <laughs> <laughs> Remember those fucking strips? Those flat aluminum strips? Um. That I like, leave them on the floor for a while and then move them around? I think they were over here before. We need to get a piece of four inch pipe. Yeah. Should I think we have it. it. I think we have it there. is the same width, 17 and a half inches. I know I need to file this one um, Yeah, because I need a strip to connect here, and I need a strip to connect there. So a strip there and a strip here, just like this. Okay. Something like that. Maybe the opposite, since it might be dressed from the bottom. Might be easier to dress it up from the bottom. Put the juices on the bottom. And then come from there. To the angle he wants to here. Do this one. And then the bottom one will be another piece just like this. Which is flat. Going from here. And it's marked off already. To here. Which this one's already made. That's all it is. But only to the edge of the core for some reason I fucked up. I should have gone more to out here so it have gone straight from there to here, right? Corner to corner. I mean, it would be easier to be able to do it like that. So I was going to say, we're out of that strap that I need for here and here. So I was just going to get another, another angle and two flat straps to finish this. This is done. We're only missing... If you have more Zeus's, then I can finish those. Are we at, we're going in that door? There is going to Yeah, when it comes to the corner, make my life easy. Yeah. At least on this side, because that side's going to be a little weird. Or maybe not. Maybe not, because if it goes from right there to right there, that's it. That's a wall. All you right. know, make the little wall like you wanted from here to the front bumper. And that's it. You just created this cavity. And then this will already be isolated to here. And then this one, of course, will just go above everything. That's it, that'll, that'll wrap it up, right? That's what you were saying before, right? Wrap it up, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. The only thing that, that when you put this fan here, you're gonna have this wall right yeah, here. That's yeah, but that's nothing. I, I told him, I mean, we could do the same thing. This thing is blowing down, yeah. always. So if we if we put the wall up and no, we just cut the silhouette of the edge of the fan, you'll be fine. We don't need the wall at the bottom. We need the wall on the top. When this comes down like this, it's gonna miss it. Okay, the fans are gonna go right, right here. It's gonna miss that it. air is gonna go like right. this. Get strapped in here and be It's gonna down. miss it. So the right. wall that You're we right. need is from this floor to there. Up. Yeah. It's not gonna. It's gonna miss it. It's not gonna touch the fan. Right. I thought it was gonna come close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is beautiful. Absolutely fucking beautiful. What I'd like to do, if you get a chance today, yeah. after you finish this shit, mm -hmm. um, you're gonna take the intercooler off from here and weld it. Yeah. Let's, let's just, with a couple of bolts, try on, try on the other four turbos that I got there, boom, and take pictures of it. Okay. Okay, so like we can have, you know, the... But when, when I take the intercooler off? Yeah, take the intercooler off and, and take pictures of the turbo. Okay. And then hang, we already got pictures of this one. The GT35? The GT35 with both housings, the HX uh, right. uh, 35, with a uh, regular housing and with the um, 
bullseye housing. Okay. We'll have them, that way everybody knows what everything fits. Right, you're just gonna tack that shit in a bunch of spots. Yeah. Okay. okay. Alright. Good, I'm gonna drill it right now. Oh, that's, that's, that's nice. That's, that's, oh. <laughs> Which one is it though, you know? I'm not sure which one this is. I know the other one's an HE. 35 Y, I think. It's small. I'm not, I'm not sure. They're both the same thing. It's just a smaller, more compact housing. The other one has the sensor. All right. It weighs just as much as the rest. You deserve a smoke for that. Fuck, man. I've been chasing that shit for a whole day today. <laughs> You know what? I think it was the air conditioner blowing on, and that Maybe was making it. Throwing it off. I mean, because it la last night, I'm telling you, when I when I balanced that uh, pressure flake, I, I got lucky. I nailed it on the first try, and the numbers were exactly. <laughs> Better ground yourself this time. The turbo fitting room. Yeah, for real. No, I didn't like that one. <laughs> All right, so then this fucking thing is next. Oh, Jesus. Uh-huh. Like it even matters. <laughs> yeah, let's... Let's not break our backs. Tight fit. <clears throat> Oh, wow. That doesn't look fun. It doesn't look fun to me. Oh, no. Double lock nut, sure. I have to make a different water outlet because it could come straight up and the pipe could come over and across. But. You so know. you got some interference here or no? No, it's just that you see where the, the 90 is? That's where that fucking waste, that, that blow off valve that's built into the compressor housing would be when you turn it. Um, and you'd be pointing up right where that thing is. So you would want to make a different pipe, like maybe get this thing and chop off and put it a quick turn 90 and then do the same thing here to meet it up. But you could create some space over there. That's just water. That doesn't really matter. 